Hello, my name is Zoek, as you know by now. We have created this short video for learner drivers and qualified drivers who have come to UK from abroad, perhaps where you are used to driving on the other side of the road. I am going to show you how you can make sure your position on the road is safe both while driving and also while reversing. Please bear in mind, these photos show the reference point in my car. Your reference point in your car will most likely be different from mine. So let's begin. This photo shows you your park position. You should be able to find a good reference point which matches with your windscreen wiper or your dashboard and it gives you a good guide when you park how far you are from the curb because you're not going to hit the curb neither going to park too far from the curb. So very important first reference point. So now we are going to see a reference point when you are driving, how you keep the 1 meter from the curb. If you are struggling to find a good reference point, find a very quiet place, probably where is the dead end road, there is no traffic, and position your car and get out and have a look how far you are from the curb and pick up a good reference point. So you need to use the same reference point when you are passing a part vehicle, just line up with the tyre front of your car rather than with the curb. So, when you are going to sit in your car, it is important you get to know your own reference point. You can use this video as a good guide though. So while you are approaching to the junction where you would love to turn right, you need to positioning to the left of the center line. So you need to pick up a good reference point front of you on the right hand side of your dashboard. When you need to stop at the giveaway sign or any kind of line, Make sure you not stop behind the line too long and not going to cross the line. So how you can make sure, again, find a very quiet place, position your car perfectly, get out, check it, and then pick up the reference point, which is, in my point of view, is line up with the bottom of the mirror. Most car has this reference point somewhere around the wing mirrors. If you are using your instructor's car, hopefully they have already shown you its reference point, but if not, ask them to do so, as they are very important. So let's have a look at the reversings. When you're doing the three-point turn, you would need to have a very good reference point when you're moving forward and backwards also, because you don't want to hit the curb. So if you look through your right-hand side window, this is your very good reference point. If you're reversing back, you also looking through your right hand side, through your right doors, windows, and then you see the back reversing reference point. Now we have a look at the parallel parking. So when your left hand side mirror is lined up with the other car's mirror, then you need to steer the steering wheel to the left one full turn. Then you carry on. And when your front of your car, your front bumper is lined up with the other car's back bumper, then you need to start to steer to the right hand side. The first reference point is very important, but the second one is depending how big is the car where you're parking and then how uh, far you from the car. So those ones are just rough guide. So now we have a look at the bay parkings. When you do the bay parking on your driving test, the examiner won't ask you which bay exactly you need to reverse in, but bear in mind you better to highlight it in your mine which one you're going for so that's why at the beginning I just use this kind of highlights for making sure we know which one we're talking about during the driving lesson so in my car the reference point when we start to steer is when we are in the middle of the bay our middle of the windscreen is lined up with the middle of the bay but again in your car in your position you might have a different one but definitely you need to find one when you start to steer and also make sure don't get too near to the base because your car won't be able physically to reversing in to turning in and at the moment if you look at my mirrors is line up with the edge of the bay parkings when you do the corner reversing you would need to have a very good reference point on the back windows and also on the side windows. So when you do the left one, then look out of through your left shoulder and pick up a good reference point 
on the back windows and on your left hand side. When you do the right hand side corner reversing you need to have also a good reference point through your shore dial look out of the windows and also you need to have if you look out through your right shore dial on the side windows. Bear in mind you have to know that you can use legally your side mirrors as well so you can turn down your mirrors and you can check the distance from the curb but the main point while you're reversing you need to look out all the time on the back windows and your mirrors should be used just a quick glance you can use them but you don't need to look always in the mirrors just checking the distance and make sure when you finish your exercise turn back your mirrors to the normal position so generally speaking very important you can use your mirrors while you're doing your all reversing exercises but very important make sure to turn it back if you've forgotten the examiner will most likely help you and ask you to turn it back if it's a nice one so i think we covered most of them soon we use and follow them subconsciously so you don't need to pay attention all time but hopefully you will be very precisely covered all of them with your driving instructor and we will wish you good luck and then all the best in your driving test thank you very much bye bye